check this out. This is really, really cool. Look at that. That is also, this is a jailbreak tweak that reimagines the iOS app switcher. And you've probably seen this before on the Verge forums. Uh, it was posted a while back as a concept, just a, a design, but now it is a reality, courtesy of a couple of developers and a designer that have worked really hard to implement this right. Now, over the years, there have been plenty of jailbreak developers that have put their own spin on the iOS app switcher. Some were better than others, but I feel this one is the first one that does it like Apple would do it if they were going to redesign the app switcher. So what is it that makes also one of my favorite jailbreak tweaks of all time? And that's really saying something when you consider how many tweaks I've covered over the years. Well, we're gonna consider each of the features contained within also, and I'm gonna break it down for you guys. Of course, you have all your card previews for all your recently running apps. We'll touch on that a bit later. Let's talk about our music controls. They've been completely redesigned from the ground up. Not only do you have new visuals for the music app, but you also have new function. Just slide up and you can adjust the volume like that for your currently playing music app just like that. And you can also tap the album art and it'll load up a big version of your album art, sort of like Spotify for the desktop if you've ever used that. You just tap it again to minimize it. And if you swipe over, you also have two rows of toggles. That is a very nice feature. So you can quickly toggle on, you know, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 3G. You also have a brightness slider contained there. And then of course you have your um, AirPlay icon. If you're connected to a Wi-Fi connection, you can open up AirPlay just like that. Now the toggles also have another really cool hidden feature. We'll talk about that in just a second. Let's go back to our app card previews. It shows a full list of all your running apps and notice it shows a full preview window of the currently running app showing the current state of that app. That's really nice. So you can really see, get context of what's going on. And if you swipe down just like that, you can remove the app from this list, stop it from running. That's very cool. You can also do two at a time. So it's multi-touch enabled. Let me show you that again, cause that's, that's really cool. Look at that, two fingers, you can remove two apps at the same time. Now what happens if you're jamming to some music in the background and you try to close that app that's playing the music in the background? Well, this happens. This app is currently in use. Are you sure you wanna close it? So it's really intelligent. Oxo knows if music is playing in the background with a particular app, it'll prompt you, first of all, do you really wanna close this app? Your music's gonna stop. Well, you, you can say no, or you can say yes if you wanna do that. So that's really nice. You can also tap and hold on any of the app icons and remove all the apps from the multitasking tray in one fell swoop. That way you can quickly get rid of everything running just by a tap and hold and then tapping on yes. Now as I stated there are more to the toggles that meets the eye. Of course if you tap on one of the toggles you can enable or disable that toggle. For instance rotation lock you can enable rotation just like that. You tap Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is disabled. You see the little airplay icon go away. It'll come back once it reconnects to Wi-Fi just like that. But if you tap and hold on one of the toggles it'll open up that section in the settings app which is really nice. So it'll open up Bluetooth for Bluetooth if you tap and hold on the Bluetooth toggle. Now, if you go to the settings app, you'll see a preference ping for OXO. It has a user guide. It explains everything in depth about this tweak, how to use it, various hidden features like that toggle feature that I just showed you. Really in-depth information, something rare among jailbreak tweaks on Cydia. Now, there's also a configuration. You can configure the toggles. You can move them just like that on the fly so when I move the orientation lock, it goes to the last section on the second page. Notice that. Now, if I move it up to the fourth position, it'll go to the last position on the first page because there's only four toggles per row. See that? And the awesome thing about that is that it's completely on the fly. No respring is required to reposition your toggles. So also is an awesome jailbreak tweak. It was, of course, a concept that was posted on the Verge forums originally. It was brought to reality by a couple of excellent developers and one very awesome designer. When I first saw this concept, I was like, yeah, it looks very nice, but I just don't think they're gonna be able to pull it off. But I was surprised. They pulled this off perfectly to a T. And the nice thing about it is that it's very stable. I haven't experienced any crashes or anything like that. Put it this way, if Apple was going to reimagine the iOS app switcher for iOS 7, and hopefully they do, hopefully they do so because the current iOS app switcher is pretty terrible, then I would imagine them doing something like this. This is how I would imagine Apple uh, implementing a change to the iOS app switcher. It is called OXO, ladies and gentlemen. It will be available on Cydia in the very near future. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.